Hi everybody, let's make some tea. Today I'm very excited because we're gonna make something special. Uh, today we're gonna make three seed tea. And we're gonna start with our good old friend Fennel, who has turned up I think in a couple of formulas that I've put out lately. Um, I really love fennel, it's very soothing to tense guts. Uh, so if you feel cramping, if you feel constriction inside of your belly, uh, fennel seed is really just the right thing for you. Um, it's a relaxant and a carminative, and so it helps when your digestion is a little sluggish, could use a bit of warmth and some movement, uh, but also when there's, the, again, that cramping and tension pattern. Um, fennel is particularly famous for helping to relieve gas, uh, and so, you know, that's super helpful, makes you feel a lot better. Uh, it, is, it is quite a relief, so thanks, Fennel. We appreciate you. I also have some anise seed here today. And um, I'm pretty excited about it because I have not had anise seed here at home for quite a while. Uh, and I really like this herb. It's one that uh, I really enjoy. It's very similar to fennel. And really, all three of these are going to be quite similar today in terms of their effect. So this is another relaxant, gentle carminative. Um, and all three of them also have these aromatic elements that, um, you know, they're part of what stimulates the digestion and keeps things moving. They also kind of help you to wake up and feel a little more alert, a little more activated. So that's really nice. But um, the ingredient I'm most excited about today is this. This is Angelica Seed. And um, most of the time when folks, or herbalists, write and speak about Angelica, they're talking about Angelica root. Um, and that's a fantastic herb and I really love it. But the seed is a little bit different. Um, it's definitely lighter in flavor. Um, it's not as intense, not as pungent as Angelica root is. Um, a little gentler in its action overall, but I still find it to be very effective uh, for these same kind of digestive di difficulties and discomforts. Um, it's also just very warming, and again, especially this one has an uplifting element to it. Um, Katya and I put this in our, in our own personal category of exhilarant herbs. Um, and exhilarants, that's a, not just our category, but that applies to things like Tulsi, like Rose Petal, um, you know, uh, a number of different herbs that lift your spirits and, and lift your mood. Um, and both of us really feel that same kind of experience when we work with Angelica Seed. So it's one of our favorites. We have a little stash of it. We don't really um, draw on it too frequently, um, but someday we'll have a bunch of our own Angelica plants and we'll gather those seeds and you can bet we'll do a lot with them then. Um, so for now, we, we rely on the kindness of friends. Uh, some friends of ours grew this batch of Angelica seed. Uh, previous to that, we actually had been ordering it in from Iceland, from uh, an herbalist friend of ours we have over there. Um, and really the first time we met Angelica seed was while we were traveling in Iceland on our honeymoon. Um, so anyway, it has a lot of personal associations for Katya and I. Um, yeah, so there we go. Three seed tea, nice digestive, uh, uplifting, mood boosting warming kind of a thing going on today here where we are it's snowing and it's going to be cold uh, for a couple days so um this feels like the kind of like last chance to get in your your favorite wintertime blends um a blend like this would really make a lot of sense if there was a blanket of snow and we were all huddled up in blankets and stuff that would be just wonderful um but anyway today that's what we're going to enjoy i hope that you have some delicious and uh uplifting tea in your day as well Feel free to share your uh, tea recipes for today in the comments on wherever you're looking at this. Uh, and remember, if you're enjoying these little um, talks, then we have a lot of stuff <laughs> to offer. We have online courses. We have a podcast. It's the Holistic Herbalism Podcast. You can check that out anywhere you get your pods. Um, and uh, we just have a, a lot of material. So check out CommonwealthHerbs.com and see everything that we have to offer. And I'll talk to you again soon.